This Republic Day, India completed 74 years of adopting its constitution and it achieved yet another milestone. The day marked the culmination of decades of hard work put in by Indian astronomers to build a complex and most challenging scientific payload that we have ever built. Hello, I'm Srishti Chopri from CNN News 18 and welcome to Science Wise. Now, what I'm talking about was a visible line emission corona graph. It's a scientific payload developed by scientists from Bengaluru's Indian Institute of Astrophysics for Aditya L1. Aditya L1 is India's first ever mission to study the sun. But more on that later. First, let's explain what this whole mission is all about. Now, Indian scientists have been studying the sun for a very, very long time. In fact, the image, the logo of, the, of this payload carries the image of solar corona that was taken by Indian and British scientists working at the Coda Canal Solar Observatory almost a hundred years ago. But there have been certain questions that scientists the world over have not been able to answer. We know that the sun is blazing hot, but what makes it so hot? And did you also know that the temperature difference between the surface of the sun and its atmosphere is vastly different? Now, according to the measurements taken by scientists, the temperature on the surface of the sun is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. But on the corona, which is the surface, which is the atmosphere of the sun, it's a million degrees hotter. Now, I spoke to the director of the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Professor Anupurni Supramanyam, and she explained that scientists have been trying to understand the corona much in detail for years. But the biggest challenge is the overwhelming amount of sunlight that comes every time that they've captured to uh, they've tried to capture the corona. Uh, that's where this payload comes in. Now, this particular payload carries about 40 different optical instruments, which are integrated and arranged in a certain way that they are able to uh, dissipate the extra light that comes from the solar disk. So, scientists are able to study the light that coming that's coming from corona. Another mystery that scientists have been trying to understand is the coronal mass ejections. These are powerful magnetic storms erupting from the surface of the sun and can be very dangerous for the astronauts as well as the spacecrafts in the space. And sometimes these storms can even reach the Earth. Now, uh, despite years of observation, scientists have not been able to predict when these storms would occur. There are no forecasting tools and this is what they are now trying to understand. Uh, another thing is that uh, this is the closest that any corona graph would ever come to uh, closest to the sun. If you remember, uh, in 2021, NASA made headlines when the solar Parker probe uh, came closest to the sun that any ever any mission could ever come. During one of its flyby, it went in and out of the uh, sun's atmosphere. Uh, with Aditya L1, we are not really trying to touch the sun. And scientists have clearly explained that the most important um, objective of this mission is to gather the observations and have the closest view of the sun and capture those images. Principal investigator of uh, this particular payload, Professor Agvendra Prasad, who is from Indian Institute of Astrophysics, explains that this mission is unique. Why? Because no uh, scientific mission has ever tried to achieve the capability that uh, Indian scientists are trying to achieve through Aditya L1 and this particular payload. Apart from this, uh, there are six other payloads that will be developed by scientists from various other institutes across India, who will be, which will be integrated into the satellite. And if all goes well, in the next few months, all these payloads will come together, get integrated into the satellite, which will fly aboard a PSLV. Uh, the PSLV is India's old workhorse and uh, ISRO is very confident that the mission will be successful. Unlike NASA's solar Parker probe, India's Aditya L1 mission is not going to be make is not going to make a flyby. Rather, it will be precisely stationed in a stable orbit at a point called L1 between Earth and the Sun, from where the satellite can have an unobstructed view of the solar of the Sun uh, without any eclipse. ISRO chief is particularly confident about the rocket, which is PSLV, which has been particularly designed for this mission. And if all goes well, uh, we could see the rocket uh, take off from Sri Harikota this July. It is indeed one of the most complex and technologically challenging scientific payload that India has ever built. The stakes are high and it's going to be very difficult for us when the rocket takes off from Sri Harikota. But ISRO chief is confident that India's old workhorse 
will make this mission a successful mission. Stay tuned to CNN News 18 and remain tuned in to get to know the latest updates from the world of science. Thank you.